Welcome to McCool Media Training Final Cut Pro 10 Basics. This video is going to be about smart collections and sorting some of the media for people who are new to Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, you can see I've got a lot of events over up on the top left. Um, just ignore all that. We're going to be working out of this one event called McCool Media Portfolio and I'll expand this out so you can see a little bit the full name. So right now I have my my thumbnail view inside the event library with and then my preview window and my inspector on the right. Now something before we get started, I want to note to you guys to change your inspector view from basic. Now you're going to see this little drop down right here. You're going to want to use the extended view. What that's going to do is as you see, it's going to show you a lot more information about your clips. So now I have I have things like camera angle, camera name, audio, date imported. I can set so much more information which can be useful for sorting and also for finding these clips later. You can use smart collections as we're going to talk about to find specific clips that were either shot with a certain camera or they have a certain camera name or an angle or maybe you have multiple scenes or takes and you can sort by all these things and pull them from that metadata which is all of this information on the right in the inspector. So on the top you've got the clip name um, and then you have notes which is a really powerful area where you can put in any information that you want about that clip and then search for it across even an entire hard drive. I have a whole video about notes and how to use them on, uh, on YouTube if you go to youtube.com slash media mccool that is the channel so you can see um, in Final Cut Pro training there's there's a video just on notes because it's a really great feature so now let's go ahead and let's get into some smart collections so I'm gonna click on McCool media portfolio I'm gonna right click on this and it's gonna give me a drop down what I wanna do you can also create folders and uh, keywords from here. I'm going to create a smart collection. What it's going to do is it's going to ask how we want to sort this collection or what do we want to be in this collection. Now it asks for a name. We're by default it says untitled and there's this little purple piece of paper with a gear and that signifies this is a smart collection we're just gonna put let's say stills we'll start with that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to show still images only and not video because I have some in there so if I double click on this it's gonna ask me okay what's my filter for this smart collection we're gonna have to add one we'll click the plus sign and I'm gonna say media type now there's a lot of other options here I'll just show you what there are. Text, if you choose that, that's going to give you options to say either text includes or does not include. Now this can be from the clip name or it can be inside of the inspector, the metadata that we talked about. So if you have a camera name, you can search for that. If it's a Canon, if it's a Sony, um, you can sort by that also. Now I'm going to remove that by hitting the minus sign. You can always remove any of your sorting parameters on your smart collections just by hitting the minus sign. Uh, you can also stack them. So let's just, for example, I wanted to have text includes two different things. I could have multiple, multiple words. So we're going to remove those since this is a, I want to keep it simple for this video. We're just going to say media type because that's what we're really wanting to wanting to do with this we just want to know where our photos are so by default it says video with audio because we're in a video editing program but we want to see stills so we're gonna click on stills from the drop down menu and as you can see it automatically updates up in the uh, the event viewer now I have the two stills that are inside of the McCool media portfolio event so I'm happy with that so I'm just gonna close this with the little X now I'm going to go ahead and create another smart collection. I'll right click again. New smart collection. 
we're going to give it another title. Let's call it 360. Those are some of the, it's a client that uh, I have done some videos there inside of this event. So I'm going to add a text filter. And I'm going to say any clip that has the name 360 in it, I want to see it inside of this smart collection. I'll drag this down and out of the way. So now you see there are two clips that it pulled in. There's two clips from 360 in the text area. Now I can also go further with this. If I wanted to add another layer on top of not only do I want it to be 360, but I could say I want it to be a favorite, I want it to be a keyword of a certain person or a date. You know, there's a lot of different ways that you can sort your information into these smart collections. I encourage you guys to experiment. That's really the best way to learn. But smart collections can be a really powerful way to take your media from your event and make it into a easy to find sortable category so you can really move through things a lot faster. Now I'm going to leave that one alone for now. Let's do let's do another smart collection. I'll leave it untitled. Now if you accidentally click off like I just did and it's untitled right now, all you have to do is you double click on that you just click, oh, I'm sorry, it's not cooperating. And there we go, and now we can edit it. Uh, for now, I'm not really sure what I want to sort by, so I'm going to leave it untitled for a second. We're going to click that plus sign, and we're going to say, let's say we want to use the format info option. Now, this is a little bit more advanced. But what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to choose one of those pieces of information from the inspector and pull it. So if you want to say, click this drop down and only take information from one area of the clip's data. So if you know that you have a camera name and it's from a Canon, then you're going to put that in here. Now, as you see, there are no clips in here, so there aren't any. Uh, the camera name has not been inputted on this event, so there, there are no clips for that, cat for that uh, parameter. Now, let's just say I want to choose a video frame rate. You can say includes, does not include, is. So I'm going to say I want to find clips that have a 29.97 frame rate. And there I have it. It pulls in 25 different clips. This format sorting option for smart collections is a really, really specific way to find exact clips that you already know what you're looking for. So that's where it becomes really useful. I hope you guys were able to get something out of this. That's just a brief overview of how to use smart collections and I encourage everybody to experiment and you know just try things for yourself and see what works for you. Thanks for watching and don't be afraid to uh, click on some of the other videos and check us out. We're on YouTube at youtube.com slash media McCool. You can also learn more about us at mccoolmedia.net. Thanks everybody for watching and uh, more videos are coming soon.